I'm Rocky, this is my husband Kimball, and in today's video, we're spending a day in Lille, France. So come explore with us, and together, we'll visit charming shopping corridors, grand squares, stunning and not so stunning churches, gorgeous shops, and everything else that makes up this amazing Paris of the North. So hit that subscribe button, join our quirky community, and let's turn every video into a mini vacation. So let's get up and go, it's just you and me. Finish my quirl. Ah, that's refreshing. Hey, Rob. What? What do you want for breakfast? I don't know. Sounds delicious. Something eggy. <laughs> Here it comes. I don't want to know a Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> what I'm gonna need is a fill up my pooper spritz. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are coming to you today from Lille, France, and it's the last day of our vacation abroad in Europe. So we have had such an amazing time. As you can see, it's another gloomy day, but that is not going to stop us. And it's very windy too. Rocky's butt ache might stop us. Yeah, I have my, uh, my butt has been aching. But it's not where you think. We've walked over 150 miles on this entire trip. I'll put, I don't know how much it is exactly, but I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> And, um... And back. So we've been to Lille before. It's a town in the north of France that they consider to be Little Paris. So you'll see why today in the video. If you haven't seen it before, it is a gorgeous town. They have a beautiful old town center. And so what we're doing right now is we're heading over to the main square area. There's a lot of festivities happening. So many beautiful buildings and shops and things to do. So I'm so excited to go and just window shop. What are you excited about? Getting out of the cold. <laughs> are you excited about your eyebrow? I mean, always. Who doesn't love a thick brow, am I right? There you go, got it. It's very windy, so let's go somewhere that's not as windy. And we'll see you in a minute. Get those morning coffees in. Love that. Okay, give me the face. <laughs> Everything right now is currently quite dead and the shops are just now opening, so there's a lot of moving trucks and things like that on the streets. They were watching us too, the entire intro. They were like, what the hell are they doing? Yo! Kimball, first step, do you wanna go ride the ride? No, but I would ride this one. It's interesting. I'm not sure what the deal is, but when I first saw it, I was very confused because it was like just this red thing going around in circles. It was a red covered wagon, we'll say. And then when it stops, like the cover like pops off. So I'm not sure what you actually see in there, or is it just like the sensation of flying around in circles? Yeah, what do you see? You don't even see anything, right? Except just... for the red. Well, I wonder if it helps people not barf. Maybe it, it is. You're literally flying around in circles. Because they don't want people to barf. Look how pretty this is. I mean, so it goes up and down and in circles. I mean. So one of the most notable buildings in the main town center is the Opera du Lille, which is basically their opera house. And it is absolutely gorgeous. We haven't been inside, but the outside is stunning. So question. Yes. Um, I don't remember what you Tell called what it. You think what about did you me? call it? What did you say? This? Opera du Lille? No, like the, the it stands out something. <laughs> One of the most iconic? No, I don't know, whatever. It stands out to us. I don't know if it stands out to everybody. No, uh, it does. Everybody. It okay. stands out to everybody. Even Frosty over here. Frosty, do you think the opera is nice, Santa? Looking a little green, okay. <laughs> well, it's been a long December, guys. I know it's probably April for you now, but whatever. And then right to the left of this building is the giant clock tower, which is so pretty. And this is the Vieux Bus de Lille. I don't know if that's pronouncing it right, but it's basically from the 17th century and it is, I think it's the stock exchange now. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna call it Zara Home because that's that's what's on the bottom. Zara part. Home or stock exchange, up to you. Okay, we lied, it is the Chamber of Commerce. Um, Whoopsie doodle. I didn't lie, it's still Zara Home. Okay. <laughs> 
And then from the Opera House here, if you look down this street at the very end, you have the train station. And it is cool if you guys are here. We're, I, we already went there last night. It was all right. There's a cool statue in front that I'll show right now. But other than that, we're not going to go there today because my hip doesn't want to. So if you go to the train station and you don't go inside, but you're staring at it and you look to your left and you want to do a bit of shopping. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. There's a shopping mall over there. Oh, but at the same time, why wouldn't you just walk around here and shop with all the stores that are right here? Exactly. Kimball, you know what we should do? In this episode, let's really take our time and enunciate every word very clearly so that everyone at home can actually hear what we're saying. Okay, and I'll try not to talk over you. Good luck with that, my this friend. Will be fun. <laughs> Look at these houses, you guys. Could you imagine living here and seeing this every day? Just imagine it. I'm trying to think of a joke for this, but I can't. Can you think of one, Kimball? No. Something about a hand and on a railing. Let me give you a hand. <laughs> you guys, should we get in line and wait for the new Swatch that's coming out or what? What do you think it is? Kimball, what could the new partnership possibly be with Swatch? Like who, who has partnered up with Swatch to make this line? So my philosophy is too much is never enough. I don't know. When you said, what do you think it is? I was going to say a waste of time, but then you changed it. So it, technically it's a watch. So is it a waste of time? Mm -hmm. It is kind of ironic though, like waiting for time. Look at all these posters are so pretty. Look at all these. <laughs> well, of course. And then right across from the main square, there is this alcove called Restaurant Alcide. It looks like it's the name of the passage, but it's really just the name of the restaurant. So they have this entire archway named after the restaurant. Angelic. <laughs> Kimball sentiment, exactly. Kimball, what's, it, the, what's the plus stand for? It's just kibble now. I just go by kibble. Kibble. How many points do you get for that? 10, 13, 14, 15? You get 15 points. I wish it was 17. I wish you were a triple word score. You're not. You're not. I love looking up high on things and sometimes you just see the most random art or stickers or whatever up there. This is a perfect example of them tagging the gates, but then when they open the gates, it looks like this over here. Kind of. I mean, I mean, they weren't exactly precise with their tagging, I would say. They got a little messy up here with the F or whatever that is and over here. But so you'd still see a little remnant, but yeah, much better. Don't you guys just love seeing the city with all the moving vans everywhere? Isn't that yeah. nice? Is that like gay cash? We just found a little passage we haven't been in. Let's go see what it looks like. This is so pretty back here. Move your head out of the way. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 Kimmel, come get it. Just look, look at me. Is there a spider? You guys, is there a spider on me? If I knew where it was, I'd be less scared, but I, I, there's definitely one on me somewhere. He was like right here on my peripherals and I was like getting the shot. You know, in this lighting, I can see all your gray hairs. Oh my God. <laughs> They're definitely there. So it becomes a little bit less inspiring through here, but you know, the first part was cute. And you must think, hey, every church or cathedral in Lil must be stunning. It must be, they just must all yeah. be absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? Do you, how do you feel about it? I'm fine with it. I can't remember what the story was, but I know I read about it. And Rocky will insert something and it'll explain. I love when you give me post work, thanks. Only I'm You're allowed to do that. <laughs> just kidding, it's fine. Let's get a closer look. It's, I mean, it is interesting. Oh, it's interesting, but it's, it's lacking. It just doesn't, like, it wasn't always this way, right? I can't remember, but it feels like a prison church. It can't have been, uh, I'm just very confused, but I need to look up information and tell you guys what happened here because I'm not, I'm really not sure. Because you can see that it's just the facade because the church behind it is old Is it and temporary gorgeous. or no. is it permanent? And then like the clock thingy next door, gorgeous. Statue is lovely. I mean, I like the stained glass window in the top center. You know, everyone has an opinion on things, right? There's any information. Let me know your opinion on this too, because I just I want—I want to know if anyone likes it. Sorry, yes, I can't believe talking about. I was saying there's an information board. If you want to look at it? It's probably more like come to our tea party, but I, let's go look at the information board. No, I don't want it. I'm doing it. So yes, it is the Cathedral Notre Dame from 1856 to 1999. Here's inside, and then here's what they did to the outside. I'm so conflicted about it. I'm like, they made interesting choices. Can you, Kimball? Can you imagine how many meetings do you think it took? 
for them to align on this. Maybe you have like a brother in the cement tile industry. There's a lot of them. This is probably the coolest part about it though on the front is this door and then the stained glass window that's up above. But on this door, there are so many different scenes of different people, different situations. Everyone looks like they're mourning in some way. As Kimball throws his trash away, I'm going to give you guys a little insight to what the trash cans will look like. They are just these things, and they're all, because they're just metal like this, they're all kind of wonky. Like, <laughs> people will probably fall on them or push them over like this. And so none of them are perfectly upright. But we do appreciate the abundance of trash cans. And the cute dog. And the tent in the background. Yay! And apparently it's also a art museum that has Warhol. Kimball loves finding a big puddle because he can find reflection shots to take. Kimball, why do you think you like reflection shots so much? What is it about them? Because it's like another world. <gasps> it's like Poltergeist 3 when she gets pulled into the puddle in the parking garage or whatever. Is that part three? I think so. I don't know. All right, we just saw this garden and we've never seen it before. So let's go explore, Kimball. Okay, winter roses. Rocky sees an opportunity for something, so I'm back over here. <laughs> but Kimball, yeah. what if... Mm -hmm. No. What if mm -mm. we just... I'm not. Kibble. Neither are you. Kimball. <laughs> you didn't get very far. Worth it. So we're now walking down the Passage des Arts, and they have a lot of art shops here. It's a very cute, clean passage with museums, and there's a couple places to eat, and just a lot of interesting things to look at. There's a cool ogre sign. You know what it feels like? It feels like montage. <sighs> If you're doing trips like this in Europe, especially, oh, advice from oh. Kimball. I'm Traveling thinking. advice, you guys. <gasps> Rolly luggage. Don't do it. Why did you guys do that? Try to do backpack luggage. Why did you? Do that? You guys, if you bring Rolly luggage, okay, to Europe, this is what you're doing. And then, and then the wheel fails, and you're like, this bag sucks. And most places, you have to go up and down stairs, the metro, up and down stairs. Get a backpack if you're coming to Europe, please, if you can handle it. If yeah. you, if you can't. Rolly bin, whatever, that's fine. But you guys, there's so many people wheeling their things and like the wheels are broken. They're just like dragging the shit everywhere. Street art sticker by Jack. What do we got? Well, that's cute. Ask for Basque. What's happening with Zach Efron here? I don't know, what, which one? What is it? <laughs> Ew, I don't know. I don't know what it is, excuse me. This is cool though, look at that. Mm -hmm. There's so much cool art here. Even the, you know, gorilla. That reminds me of that book that was different animals mixed together. I don't know, what else? I don't know, I feel What's like- What's your the, favorite piece? Well, obviously the Zac Efron one. No, probably be this one. Yeah, that's really cool. But I am laughing because the Zac Efron, it feels like that was an extra in the movie and he got like his picture with him and then he made stickers and posted it all over the city. Well, everyone go check out Gabrielle. She has her own Instagram tag on there. So as we're walking around, this alley is totally reminding me of this area in Chesky Krumlov, which is a city in the Czech Republic that- Beautiful and they have delicious gingerbread. The thing is, before we started this channel, I, I literally have thousands and thousands of videos across Europe, like Germany, France, Czech Republic. So if you guys want to see any videos on any of those cities, we could definitely make something and talk about the different areas and show the different sites and things like that. It, it, there are so many gorgeous cities. I, I just can't even tell you. So many cities we didn't even know existed. Like everyone just says Prague when you go to the Czech Republic. Go to Chesky Krumlov. Oh, gorgeous. Go to I mean, and you can, I mean, it's tiny. You can see the whole thing in a day, but I mean, you'd probably want to stay a little bit longer just because it's so pretty. Yeah, there were definitely some cities we went to and I, I felt like they were life-changing in a way because it, it just, your mind goes, what? Like this actually exists in the oh. real world and then you, it's always with you. There was two little fairy tale towns which they used as inspiration for Beauty and the Beast, the animated Disney cartoon. They're real, they exist out so there. So beautiful. Anyway, highly recommend. We're done geeking out, thanks. And now, Kimball? A little bit of jazz.
So there's this place called um, Almal Vilu. I don't know. We know how to see it. Well, it's easy to read right here. There you go. It's that place. We've seen them all over our trip, but haven't gone in. So we're going to go in, and Kimball's going to get some chocolate bread or something. Probably. Like Let's go see. All right, so Kimball got one of these chocolate breads here. They look like they're freshly made. The gloves are coming off. Those gloves are done after this trip, I feel like. They were cheap ones from H&M. It was a twofer. Look at that. Let's smell it, guys. Smell it. Can you smell it? Oh, yummy, yum, yum. Oh my God. The chocolate chips are still melty. So it's like a sweet bread. Yeah. Sir. So it's a sweet bread, and it kind of reminds me of a cinnamon roll, but mm. without the cinnamon, obviously. But, uh... <laughs> While we're waiting. Okay. Mm. It's really good. It tastes like fresh bread, yeasty. It's a sweet bread. It's for a little sure. chewy. Really yummy. I love it. You're welcome. All right, I just saw this in the window and it reminds me of a statue my mom used to have in her front room of a little panther. Where does it go? Where does it go? There it goes. We don't know what this is, but look how interesting. It has a bunch of different cities represented. I think there's even London in there. Can you guys see anything from our trip on here? Atomia. So we came into this shop that we saw last night that has a bunch of really gorgeous pottery and trinkets and fun art and stuff like that. Kimball really likes these mugs that are over here. But they also have this huge polar bear chilling. How cute. Look at this little fox hiding from the rain, probably. It's a little just, bunny. I do just like a cat. The cat is cute. Oh, the lion's really cute. Oh, the cat on the stump. That's my favorite. Cat on the stump? Yeah. I do like the art bark too. Look at him. I mean, they're he's all super, super cute. cute. You guys, but this dog, this dog, look at this little cute dog. And then you turn him and he's like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, we've agreed on two purchases. One is a butter dish. I want everything. It's such a beautiful store. And the mug. Let's see it, Kimball. Does it go with uh, you? I think so. Okay. Does it bring you joy? Obviously, it's a mug. And every mug brings coffee to my lips. This cute little chonker. There's a hidden chamber downstairs. So that was a very cute store. I would say it's a little pricey, but um, they have pieces that you can't really find in other places. Excuse me, I got myself a little mug. Yeah, so we got a mug for sixteen fifty. You didn't even get my joke. A little mug, because we're in Lil. I got a little mug. And then we got a butter dish for sixteen fifty as well. And you guys might be thinking, a butter dish for sixteen fifty? How gay are they? Super um, gay. Okay. It's the story. Yeah. I've been looking for a butter dish for months now. I don't need a huge one because I only take a little it. bit of butter out at a time because I leave it on the counter, but That's I don't right. want it like a huge chunk sitting on the counter for like a week or two. No one wants huge chunks. Um, so I like to use it up in a couple of days and then, you know, you stock it. That's right. Now we have the perfect butter dish. Life's worth living. Let's go. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but some of the windows are beveled out and some are beveled in depending on... I don't know, age, where, I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah. So the road we've been walking up is called Rue de la Monet. Monet? We don't know how it's pronounced, but there it is. And right off to the side here, there's a little park thing. So let's go look at it. It's fine. There it is. It's fine. Also, we haven't had too many people come up and chat with us on the trip, but we just had a lovely gentleman and his wife came up and were like, are you American? And oh. he's from Lil. He was born here. And his wife is from Ohio. No, she's from Michigan. Michigan. You'll same thing, guys. Uh, really? Hit me up in the comments if it's not. <laughs> and um, they live in Cannes and they're up here visiting family for the holidays. Mm -hmm. And they had a few hours away from the children. I made a joke. I was like, it's the best two hours of the whole time. And, and the they're both like, uh, yes. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> We know they love their children, but let's be real. So this is kind of a good indication of like what the city looks like in the town center. And then as you get towards the outer areas, the buildings kind of change into this. So it's maybe not as inspiring. Ew. Way to go, Kimball. You made Lil cry. It's okay. Here, have a drink. No. I'm so sorry to bother you. So Shay, Ronnie, and Shay Raul, are they related? Twins. Oh, twins. 
Are they the same type of restaurant or are they different? Yes, no. How fun. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's so cute. I love that. And they have the same sign. Like whoever did the signs the same. Yeah, yeah. We're here at this thing and we don't know what it is, but we're going up to explore. Let's go see what's up there. Come on, everybody. Okay, well, what's over here? Okay. Is this part of the Citadel? No. Are you sure? No, but the Citadel's a mile away. It did. Well, let's just walk through and see what's on the other side. Okay, well, I mean, maybe not the most inspiring, but interesting. So we found out where all the pigeons love to go. Is this like a nightclub for pigeons? You guys, I'm dying. They all have their own little cubbies on the bottom row here. Look at them. That's how they keep order. Do you think they know which room they have to go to each time? Nope, I've seen some swoop down and kick others out. Bitches. So we were walking by these giant shutters and I just happened to glance down and I did a double take because the little stopper for the window is a little lady with a hat, how cute. You can see the new street signs versus the old ones. At a certain point, you have to wonder, when is too much, too much? Or I'm getting Billie Eilish vibes, anyone else? Look how beautiful this square is. Can you imagine coming here and having a little coffee break? So it's like, you're okay with having a bike and then you have to get a scooter and you're like, nah, and then you have to get a skateboard and you're really sad. Why is it Steve-O? need a paint job, but before you do so, take a picture of the kitty. We were looking at this beautiful mosaic, and then I just got to this fish here, and I was like, does he have buck teeth? What's happening? Kim, we'll come over here. Put your face, don't look yet, don't look yet. Put your face down next to it. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. And then come around and look at it, and let's get your reaction. Okay, so post the playground debacle, we were like, I don't think there's really anything here, but then we noticed people coming from this little corridor. So let's go explore. Let's explore the corridor. Kim, we'll go through and then give me your reaction, like pop back in so I can see how we feel about it before we get there. Trash. First impressions are everything. What do you guys think? Are we doing a great job articulating in this episode so far? Are we speaking slower, more clearly? I completely forgot that we were doing that. Well. And now it sounds unnatural when I speak. Yes, and it always will, I think. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Kimball, you have to. That was part of the objective of today. We want to make sure that all people can hear what we're saying, not just those who understand our really fast, blurred language. Blurred. I think you just want the subtitles to pick up everything clearly so you don't have to fix it. That may be the case. You guys, when I do subtitles, it makes it so glaringly painful to listen to myself and realize what I'm actually saying. Even that sentence I just said, I know I'm gonna pick apart later and go, why did I say it that way? I'm sure it makes sense when you listen to it, but you would never read it that way in a novel. We sure say a lot of gibberish. Next. <laughs> All right, would you guys live in this tiny little unit that you could probably touch both walls when you have your arms out? Who knows, it might be bigger inside. All right, that's not too bad. We could do that. That's two Kimmy lengths. We were just passing this store here and we saw all these gorgeous old vintage lights. I mean, they look vintage. Which one would you guys pick for your house if you had to? You have to pick one. Which one do you do? I think I like that one on the far left. Kimball's going with the crystal one on the far left there. I think I would go for that one. I would not go for the 70s. I just, I like it, but I wouldn't do it. Don't do it. Can you go fix it, please? Just go fix it. I don't need to throw my back out. You can fix it. It's just a little fix. I am not It's sure. just a little fix, Kimball. A little fix, come on. Get your little fix. Like shopping or? A little fix. So many cool things. Why is Snoopy in the can of Campbell's with Woodstock? What's happening? This is how all the fish in the tanks feel like. They just want to get out. So this place has to be one of the most gorgeous places inside. I'm going to try to sneak in and see if I can show you. Last night there was a line so far. There's a bit of a wait, but it'll be worth it. We'll see. Look at this place.
juste assez pour faire. Euh, ouais. What do you guys think? Worth it? Did you see inside? Uh, I saw a little bit. I was kind of giggling because a little girl came out with her family. Okay, she's probably like 12. And she was like, You know it's going to be good just by the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of a wait. It only took me three minutes to get in there. It wasn't that bad. It's so pretty. They have a other part. Yeah, it's tea. I don't want tea. We don't need to spill the tea, guys. Oh, she looks sad. What? Wait. Why is the. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a relief of this woman above the door, and then the little camera thing next to her looks like it has eyes and a mouth. But what is it? Okay, so while Rocky was inside, one of the saddest things have ha happened. What? Oh, let's go down the alley and talk about it. Well, Sad I'm... moments in Lil. I was gonna use a prop on the sidewalk, but okay, so you oh. know, they have like all these little posts on the side. Yes, yes but do they have this on the sidewalk, Kimball? <gasps> so I was gonna use a prop, because like they have these little posts. Oh my god, Santa Claus. Oh um, my god, we cannot tell a story without having side notes. Anyway, so I like was waiting for Rocky while he was in the chocolate shop, worth the wait. And I like kind of leaned against one of the posts and I felt a crack in my pants, not my pants. I felt a crack in my pants, oh my God, it's in my booty. There was a crack in my jacket. And I thought, there go the candy canes. So what you're telling me is this is the backdrop we should have used for that story, probably. Yes. Kimball, do you think there's a flims around anywhere? Mm. While we're in the alley, let's grab lunch at the Wildry. Oh, they have a restaurant. This place is interesting. It's a plant shop and cafe, coffee shop. It looks so cute. And the food looks really good. They have pastries. They look delicious. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Um, is this okay right here? Yeah, yeah, this is okay, great. You can sit here. Okay, this is perfect. Thank how fun. Oh my god, how cool is this? Look, it's like a whole private area with copyrighted music. <laughs> All right, Kimball, how was the bathroom? You know what? It was good. Um, I'd probably give it like four Kimmies. Okay. Um, it's private, but like just barely. It's just a sliding door and it's right at the entrance where people are like lining up and waiting. So if you make noise, they're going to hear it. Well, that's what I'm going to go do. I just got back as well. Um, that was an interesting experience. I pulled a magazine up and the first thing I opened up to was like, thanks. <laughs> the other fun thing was I almost fell off the damn toilet seat because it wasn't attached. <laughs> well. Au revoir! Well, that was a delicious lunch here at the Wildry. It was all right. Kimball was getting a Actually, little gaggy from the textures, but I yeah, really yeah. liked it. We got, we got like a duck pot pie salad thing. It was a deconstructed pot pie. You know, it was really good flavors, but like I'm a texture person and it had um, like a roast pumpkin, which was really soft. And then it had like goat cheese, which was soft. Right. And that together put me off. But I um, think the most important thing about it was there's a dog with two color eyes. Let's go see if we can get a picture of them together. Hi. Oh, so cute. Is it Jeff? Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. What's he like? Uh, he's very sweet. Oh. Very soft. Oh. Likes everyone. Does he like other dogs too? Oh. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks for letting me take a picture of you. All right, have a good day, Jeff. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, little Jeff. Did you see his eyes? I didn't. I'll show you the video right now. And now you can react. Oh my God, so pretty. I love those eyes. Isn't he cute? Yes. All right, now we're gonna go wait in line for the Christmas Village, but since it's probably April by now for you guys, we're just gonna skip to the end and we'll let you know how it is. Okay, great. We did it. It was fun. It was fun to look at the little shops though. They had this, they had and that, they had those. one of those. Oh, some of these. Did you see that too. thing? I loved everything. I loved really. that. Oh, and this thing. We'll do it again. That was cool. Okay, cool. And now we're back to the main square. Let's go look at the little book arcade place. Well, this is a little sad. Why don't we just click over to when they're open? Snap it. Should we go into church? Risk burning our souls? Should we try it? Should Whatever, we try it? Like
even? Think about it! Calm down, I didn't really scream in the church. It was all just post-magic. Oh god, that means you're gonna be screaming at home. Excuse me, sir, could you do something interesting for the vlog, please? Pretty please. It could be anything you want. Get creative. Anything. Doesn't matter. Totally up to you. It's okay. Yeah? Okay. Don't run from fame. All right, we came into this art store and they have this clay kit where you can make up to 4.5 pounds or whatever you want. So you can either do historical figures or, you know, just either whichever one you want. Similar energy. Well, that's just adorable. I'm just, I'm not quite getting it. Why does he have, why does he gotta look like that? So we're walking through this mall and there's just a ton of empty shops, but uh, there's one behind us that is standing out the most because there's a giant zebra inside. And I, like what, and then just a table and that's it. It makes sense. Like, uh, that's the where I want to work. Just lots of this stuff. Someone just popped on that. And they wiped it put her eye. We went into this little cafe called Homa that was uh, it's basically a home shop and cafe. It was so good. And it's really windy, so next. Oh my god, the candles smell delicious. And the carrot cake was fantastic. <laughs> It's kind of amusing because I was looking at all the pretty buildings and I got to this one, I was like, why? And then I looked down and literally the name of the place is Hotel Y. I shit you not. Okay, well, the only thing I can say that was a downside about being in Lil is I didn't see a single cat. So that's but a little same, disappointing. But at the same time, it is very busy and we stayed near the markets and all the hubbub. But not even in the windows up above. There was tons of windows. Yeah. I didn't see a single one. Lil, city without cats? Question mark? No. And that's it for Lil. We're back at the center now, blocking the elevator from people that need to go down and get in their cars. How did you feel? Oh, lovely. A little, oh, I don't, it's not little towns. This is quite a large city. But when you get into like the center, it's, it feels smaller and that mm. totally revitalizes me. Rejuvenates the spirit. There's just so many beautiful things to look at, including the people. You heard me. Yeah. Definitely recommend a trip here. It's in Northern France, so if you guys are ever in the area, or you know, even if you're in Paris, you could get here in a couple hours. We love this city. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. We have plenty more videos coming, a lot more coming from the England area. So if you wanna see what we get up to in the English countryside, hit that notification bell. We have lots of videos planned. And yeah, we thank you guys so much for joining us on all these journeys. 28 days on the road, you guys. It was a good time. A little tiring at times, but a good time. My body is definitely telling me that we're done now. Today today is the last day I would possibly do this. <laughs> My body is ready for a nap. You have a little spinach character. What's funny? You got a little something in your teeth. For the rest of the damn video, you failed as a husband. No, but I You don't. failed. Yeah. <laughs> I love you and your green trunk. Don't look at it! If you guys have any recommendations or if you have any requests for what you want to see us do, let us know and we'll try to make it happen. I do have to work full time for the majority of the year. And part of the reason we did this now in December is it's the slowest time for my studio. So I could actually get away for a good chunk of time and film all these videos. That's why you guys have been seeing so much Christmas content is because I had to kind of film everything at once because I can't really take time away uh, during the rest of the year. So I wanted to make sure we had enough content to keep the channel going every week. So I'm excited to look back at these videos over the next couple months though and put them together. Well, when the weather warms up, we can just do weekender trips here and there, which we can do much easier than yeah. You're like the main, like the continent, True. As, my, as they say. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful week and we will see you in the next one, whatever that might be. Bye guys. Go away. God, please. You guys, we're done. That's it. Don't well, hang. You're like, what the are video's we, done, we're not done. What are we supposed to do? You guys, like I can't just stay on here the whole time. The video's already long enough. Okay, well, that we're done with that now. Bye, You're everybody. done. You're, You're done. done. We're done. Okay. Vacation done. Bye. 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 Okay. It's over. Bye.